Hey, it's hey. a hot summer night in the garage. Sure Here we is. go. Just had the door open to cool us down a little bit. <laughs> um, okay. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Today, tonight, yeah. we got the Glenfiddich 15 year old Solera yes. bat. Yes. Ooh, this is good. This is going to be a good one. So, I have a little story to tell you guys, but I want you to just listen to this little ditty and come back in 30 seconds. Okay, so we got a great song. What is all over? Oh, it's a great song. It's covered in water because oh, we just spilled some water. that glass or Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay, so this? <laughs> nah. Perfect. Oh. Uh, the real possibly wrecked everything. Okay. Okay, so we got the Glenfiddich Solera, 15 years old. Awesome thing about it is it's got that age statement. What's the percentage on that? That you know, 40% alcohol. Okay, so it doesn't have a great oh, level. Oh, sorry, I haven't taken my Trini and C uh, oh, coin yeah. out of there yeah. yet. Challenge coin. Um, oh, no. no. Well, yeah, I guess you got to pour the yeah. whiskey. Uh, so I, as my our viewers know, uh, I went to Scotland in 2013. Uh, we went to the a handful of distilleries. One of them was the Glenfiddich. And but we didn't go to the Glenfiddich until after our schooling that we went to. So we mm. went to school, went to amazing distilleries, had all these amazing experiences with master distillers and coopers and all these people. Uh, and then after that was done, we decided to just sign up for a couple of whiskey festival events. Correct. And at the whiskey festival, you pay your price and you get to go on a tour. Mm. And the tour was the Glenfiddich train Perfect. it was called oh. so we took a, a train from Dufton to Keith or something I can't remember exactly where um, and you get there and you're on a tour with about 40 other people and you're going through and everyone's kind of taking pictures and the lady's up at the front and you can't really hear anything and we had just experienced like this amazing whiskey school <clears throat> and anyways at the end of the tour <laughs> she takes us to this huge vat up these stairs and it's a huge vat full of the Glenfiddich Solera 15-year-old. Fantastic. And when it says 15 years old, that's kind of like the minimum age. Because right. Solera essentially means it's that it's swirling been... swirling around in there forever. For, yeah, generations and generations of right. different 15-year-olds. They keep topping it up. They just keep topping it up. The 15-year-old. Yeah, exactly. So, be or, some or older. swirls in there of... Uh, of so, so, there's potentially some era. very old stuff in this bottle. Right. And so we're like, oh, yes. And she's like, would you guys like to have a taste? We're like, of course we'd love to have a taste. I mean, she opens the vat, and it's this huge thing of whiskey. And she got a little... You get your cup? Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, where's the cups? Where's the cups? Uh... And she let every single person dip their pinky finger in to taste. Oh. Like, wow, that's... Generous. That tastes like... Everything I've touched today. <laughs> like, how are you supposed to... I just ingested and gave off some bacteria. Yeah, so how are you supposed to gauge what they consider to be one of their finest? Yeah, okay. You know, with a bunch of 40 people every hour dipping their finger did you, into Did your map. pinky bump into anyone else's? Oh, <laughs> excuse like, me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Do you want me to lick your finger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so it was a bit of a disappointment, and then we got on the train to go back to wherever we were going, and uh, they poured everybody a little tiny whiskey, and they're like, oh, I guess it's the Glenfiddich train, we'll drink some Glenfiddich. Wasn't even Glenfiddich. No. No. Anyways, we are going to do a whiskey review here. We are. So, uh, well, thanks for that story. (laughs) I don't know if you got anything out of it, but I just remember thinking, like, Really, that's your... That's the taste? That's the taste. Thank you. My own pinky? Yeah. <laughs> Plus that, guys? Like, here, this is the taste. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it. How that's much right. did you get off of that? Oh. Whiskey-ish. And whatever I've touched. Yeah. Salty. Yep. All right. Okay. So, uh, here at Trending Sea, we do 
color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. Mm -hmm. We are going to review this guy. We score them. Now. (laughs) Now what? (laughs) Right now we're going to review. Okay, color. Look at this. Look at this color. Look at all that. It's beautiful. Years and years and years of At least 15 years of, what did I call it? Sexy. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Strawberry Blonde. Oh, that is. That's wah, nice. Wah, wah. Look, at the cur- Look at the curves on her, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Might be a bit of color, uh, caramel color in there, but Maybe. I don't think much, if any. It's kind of like, it's a good um, packaging. Kind of like this brown kind of works good with the color, brownie red. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't know. I, I like the, the boxes, kind of a it's reddish a, color. A nice I don't know. Bottle. Work. It works. Nice yeah. Bottle. Okay, so getting right into the nose. Sure. Mm. Fruity and oaky. Fruity, oaky, lots of toffee, dried dates, a little bit of like... Yeah, I got like that dried candied apricot fig thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely a fruit bouquet on there because I get the the pears as well. Speaking of bouquet. Yeah. Sweet rose. Ooh, sweet rose. (laughs) Love it. (laughs) And Glenfiddich is pretty like, I mean, in my mind... (laughs) Famous for having a lot of apple characteristics. Yeah. Where this is a little bit like darker fruit. Yeah, I don't get that. Uh, it's, yeah, apple it's much less. Yeah. Apple wasn't even on the page for me. It kind of reminds me of a uh, like the nose of a. Uh, have you had those Japanese pears? Yeah. Okay. Where they're kind of like, they kind of are like an apple, but they're and not they white. come in that little bit of uh, foamy kind of like yeah, like, thing. yeah, like yeah. a fishnet. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> fishnet foam. Yeah, it's, a nice nose to this It's one. also a bit whiny, though. Yeah, yeah it is. There is some yeah. kind of, like, wine notes to it. Yeah, it, it very much is. It's what? a darker fruit, a little bit of, like, creaminess to it. And then there's that honey lemon. Yeah, there is the lemon. There is the honey. There's a bit of kind of a, a brown, baked brown sugar kind of a note to it. Dare I say soapy? That's, that's actually, you know, that comes up quite a bit in scotch and people don't like to say it because it seems like such a bad note, but it's not. it works well this, in a lot of Because this one is different. It has Ooh. a different, like, when I think of the thing, like, I haven't said soapy and rose in a review before. Yeah. And they kind of are one of the same thing, you know? Kind of yeah, a rose water a rose service. rose soap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, and Glenfiddich, you know, I think personally it's gotten better over the last couple of years because I remember buying it about eight years ago or so and thinking that it was okay. okay. It was like pretty good. And lately it's been getting better. But maybe it's just because you kind of go back to the classics and realize why they're classics. Or you're learning to appreciate it yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, flavors. Mm. I'm struck by ripe fruits. Mm -hmm. And I'm struck by just like, there's like a buttery, creamy, velvety kind of texture and viscosity to it. Now, I have waxy as a note. Mm. As a taste. something waxy about it. Like a wax candle kind of thing? Yeah. There's something kind of waxy in 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 the bitterness and viscosity of it. Yeah. You know? But it also has honey and like a woodiness and even uh, some mustiness to it. It's very... For sure. It's very interesting. And I think the mustiness comes with the age. It's showing its age a little mm-hmm. bit. It could be all the fingers getting dipped into it. It's Oh, it's probably... This, pinky, this, pinky or... Index. Index, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely a finger. <laughs> definitely finger flavor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this, this whiskey is really quite nice. And the more you kind of open the bottle up and get into it, mm-hmm. it kind of settles down a little bit, even though it's only 40%, but it's still, at first it kind of had like this effervescence and now it's just softer and The 40% warmer. makes it free flowing, mm-hmm. for sure. It's just like, you can <laughs> drink this pretty, pretty <laughs> easily, yeah. <laughs> exactly like, like that. That's <laughs> Um, that's a on, the, on the note. finish. That was in my tasting note. Right. That's, you just had a hand move. <laughs> I just had a wave. Yeah. Um, on the finish, you kind of get the uh, the oak and the slight char, um, a little bit of that cinnamon bark, and kind of like an Earl Grey tea, I find. Ah, Earl Grey tea yeah. is a good note. Yeah, I it's like got that. that, it's like a sweeter herbal kind of dryness to it. Now tell me mm. if I'm off. Mm. On the finish, 
a little bit of grassy green hay. No, that's true. That's true. For you have being... to say that to save our credibility. <laughs> well, for it being like relatively fruit forward and rich mm. and dense like that, it does like the barley sugars kind of show up at the end yeah. of the palate, which is kind of like that's what, what I'm you're saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, viscosity. <laughs> I think I kind of descri- described viscosity as like, it's almost like the arrival. You know, it's with the arrival of the flavor because it's really velvety and rich and there is a bit of a syrup to it. And I'm sticking with my waxy comment from before. Yeah, yeah it's it's a heavier malt. I, and not in a bad way either. No, I think it's great. I no. think it works really well. A lot of the time I wouldn't go out and buy a Glenfiddich very often and I really it's want almost to. almost so mainstream. Mm-hmm. That you stay away. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's like, uh, it's been done to death. Yep. Um, so, this was kind of a... I can't remember why we even purchased this specifically. Was it price-based or was it... I think it was partly price-based, which, by the way, or was is... was a unique like $89 yeah, yeah. or yeah. so. Um, it's, well... It was it's a got good price statement. Yeah. yeah, so it got the 15 years. It's got the slayer of that. Yeah. I had a story I could tell. Yeah, I think it just kind of fit for what we needed yeah. at the time. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, there, it, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to buy Johnny Walker when you're doing reviews. You're like, uh, Yeah, exactly. You know, like, we exactly. kind of, we've, we've we have done to it. purchase for it. review purposes, right? We're yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Johnny Walker will get views, but it's not that interesting. You know? Um. So, speaking of something interesting. Oh, okay. Wait, we need to score it up. Score it up, okay, first. We then sc- we're going to score it up, then we got a little bit of a segment to oh, do here. Okay. Um, we scored it at a 27. It 27. actually came in at a 27 even. Even with both um, first scores matched together, yeah. I don't have the math right now, but the breakdown, but it came in as an average of 27.00. That's pretty damn good. That's a good score. That's a great score. Glenfiddich is a, a good whiskey. Um, okay. You have something interesting. Okay, so what we got here... Says is, you. ...is we have a game mm. of... Distilleries. You have to guess the real distillery versus the fake distillery. If you say Glengina or Glen Breston, uh, I'm <laughs> Glen Breston. Know. That's a good one. I'm I'm gonna... that. <laughs> I know those are fake. As I already thought of them. Okay. Uh, Glen Penis. No, <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. These actually might okay. be kind of hard. Okay. And I, I, you know, right after Glen Penis, you want to say <laughs> they're hard. Got it. It's a little harder than the Glen Penis. <laughs> Um, we anyway, have to just get rid of all that. Okay, here we go. Okay, Glen Willine versus Killy Lock. It's hard. Glen I mean, like I don't know the answer. Somebody out there might know the answer. Yeah, Please uh, type in your answers now. I'm gonna go. Killy Lock is real. Okay. Okay. What's the, your reason? Because um, lock, I mean, you know, I know there's locks Ness and yeah. some, I don't know, I've never heard about anything to do with the first okay. name. You're right. Yeah. Woo! Glenn Willeen is a friend of mine. Oh. <laughs> Glenn, this one's for you. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Lynn Lithgow. Is this another friend of yours? Versus John Lithgow. <laughs> Night Court? I'm going to go with... What was the first one? Lynn Lithgow. I'm going to go with Lynn Lithgow. <laughs> As the real one. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the final one? I have two more. Okay. Okay. Lach Ew. Ew. Okay. Versus Lach Ugh. <laughs> Lach U versus Lach Ach. L- L- no, Lach U versus Lach Ach. Lach U is correct. You are right. Yes! <laughs> yeah, three for three. Okay, so this is a bonus round. Right. I know, well, the Ach. <laughs> I felt the em- the overemphasizing was giving it away that it was correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because um, I have no clue, so. Three for three, though. Three for three, and this is a bonus round. Yeah. North British versus Northwest K- Kardashian. <laughs> I'll take North British as... You are correct. Yeah. Four for four! Whoa! Yes. How'd you do at home? Yeah, did How'd that stuff at home? Northwest Kardashian. 
That is like a real name. Uh, I know, of, yeah. Kind yeah. of. Well, hey, I had fun tonight. I had fun. Hey, it's Thursday night. You better be drinking some Glenfiddich or some kind of whiskey. And uh, you better be clicking here, subscribe. Tick, 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 tick. Click like. Buy one of these things, you know. Um, if you don't know how, I'll figure it out. Hey, cheersies. Cheers. Ow! Too much. I'm out of scotch. You're out of rye.